Thank you for coming back to So Oil Is Not A Chef. We're gonna get started with the uh, macaroni and cheese. So I still, I got my noodles over here. So now in this pan, this pan has been heating up. This is the sauce. And again, as I was saying before, I don't know, you know, how people, you know, make their macaroni and cheese. Everybody does macaroni and cheese different. Um, this is how I do mine. We're gonna take some butter. And we're gonna add um, more butter in a minute. So we're gonna take some butter and we're gonna take some milk. It's all in the sauce. Um, it's all in the sauce. Some people they all just make the their sauce. they just make their noodles and um, you know then they just layer it with the cheese and you know that's about it. But me, I gotta have sauce. My mom made sauce. My grandmother made sauce. You know everybody made sauce. So we're gonna pour some milk in here. And that was probably about a half a cup of milk, and I may need some more. So we're going to let that simmer really smooth and creamy right there. So that's the key. That's the key right there. That's the key, the key, the key. And because <laughs> we the best, <laughs> you know, they don't want me to make macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to make some macaroni and cheese. So now we're going to let that kind of boil so that's the milk that's the butter and that's the um the uh, sour the cream cheese right there leave the lobster there for a second what i'm also um going to put in here a little bit of oil just a little bit you don't need a lot because the cheese kind of makes it its own like salt or whatever um so now um what i need is oh you definitely want to stir you want to start while you're doing this because as you start adding the cheese, it starts to thicken and it's, it'll stick. It'll stick to the pan. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to scorch the cheese because then you don't want it. So you definitely don't want to do that. So you want to start this as you go. But let this go ahead and bubble. So now we're going to get into the lobster. So again, remember, see how easy that is? And of course you gotta clean it. But that just makes it so easy to come out. So just think if you're having dinner with somebody, it's not cute to be fighting over your food. Like that's At not all. cute. And it hurts. And it hurts. Real bad. Especially if you got nails and everything, like that's not that's not the move. So when you cut your crab legs and cut your lobster, just like that. And then again, like I said, you have to you have to clean these. <clears throat> because again these are shellfish so it doesn't matter that you use cold water hot water you just want to make sure that you get the vines out and all of the little nastiness off of it and this one right here i'm going to put that one up a little bit Okay. And that's bubbling, so that's looking pretty good. So now we're going to cut this up. Um, also, what you can do with lobster, macaroni, and cheese. Um, I also saw a recipe, which I actually did do, and it did come out good, anyways. Um, it's uh, shrimp and lobster, macaroni, and cheese. I've done that too. Um, how was that? It was good. It was really good. But I prefer my shrimp not in my macaroni and cheese. But it was really good. But I wanted to try it. But I prefer it this way. So pretty much you can cut this up um, however you like. But you definitely want to make sure. Um, you don't want it too thick. Because you want it to be able to spread evenly through the macaroni and cheese. So that way, you know, every bite can kind of have, you know, a little bit of lobster in there because that's the whole purpose and also i as you can see i use four a lot of people ask me how many do i use for the size pan that i'm using and you know the amount of people um you know you want to make sure that you have enough but again you want to cut it as fine as you can you don't want big chunks because big chunks is it's not going to spread evenly not gonna be enough so you definitely want to make it small 
Now, everybody here is quiet because everybody here been We're sipping hungry. and hungry. Yes. And, uh, you know, my camera lady, she's, she's still holding on strong. My can't, my camera lady is holding on strong, y'all. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. She is so holding on. Mouth is watering. And it smells so good. So, this is done. So, once I start putting my cheese in, it's bubbling now. So, that's definitely what we get ready to do. So once the cheese gets put in, that's when I add this. I add that last. So this is um, bubbling up nicely. And as you can see, I can smash my cream cheese. But that's cheese. something that I can do from now on because I never thought of making a sauce before the mac and cheese. I always layered it. Oh yeah, I layer it and make the sauce. Oh, okay. it's nothing, nothing like the sauce. It just does something to the macaroni and cheese. So this right here, this is sharp cheddar. Can you add any other? Any um, cheeses that you want. Yes. Um, my secret cheese is pepper jack. I love pepper jack. Oh, I love pepper jack and my macaroni and cheese. And. At this point, you have to stir. You cannot focus on anything else but this sauce. It's all in this sauce. And as you can see, it's melting down really well and it's forming a creamy sauce. And this is exactly what you want it to do. It's form a good sauce. So we're gonna turn this just a little bit And let it all melt together so once this melts together pretty much is the cheese is melted which is really good um but we need the sour cream so i mean it's cream cheese to melt as well so it's definitely doing that so we're going to let that sit right there now we're going to go to our noodles and we're gonna go ahead and get these drained because at this point, they're ready to go. I love the way fresh crab smells. We're gonna let that sit and let that drain. <clears throat> now, we're gonna go ahead and pop in the lobster so if you can come over here and you see it bubbling and now put in your lobster Just stir the lobster in. You want to turn this down. So now it's starting to thicken a little bit, which is awesome. This is exactly what we wanted to do. We wanted to thicken up. The noodles are going to hold on to this really well. And you have made a perfect sauce for your macaroni and cheese. And it is super thick. It's just how you want it. So we can turn this down now. And we're gonna move this over. Because this is ready to go. So now two layers of this. You can get rid of that. So I'm going to do two layers. Now, my noodles, I like my noodles seasoned. I do not like my noodles bland. So whatever you feel you want to season them with, go right ahead. But 
I like mine seasoned. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna take our noodles and we're gonna put them in a pan. Now normally, some not normally, but sometimes I will mix egg in my um in my sauce. So and sometimes I put sour cream. That's why I kept saying sour cream. So sometimes I put sour cream, sometimes I put an egg. You know, we're just not gonna do this today. So we're gonna put all of this in here. And again, I did season this because I do not like bland noodles. I do not like my noodles bland at all. So now, we're gonna pour all of this in here. Mm, that, looks, that looks so amazing. good. Can I get the pan? Can I lick the pan? Okay. <laughs> I got first and this right pan. here, you want to make sure you get all of the pan. First dip pan. <laughs> so we're going to stir this around and make sure that it gets all through the noodles. But the key to this is, is I'm going to layer, I'm going to layer this. So... And you want to make sure that you do this evenly. So that every noodle can have some sauce. Because you want to be able to taste this Everybody, my kids love macaroni and cheese. I haven't made it in a while, so I was actually going to make something else. But then I said, no, nah, I haven't made no macaroni and cheese in a minute. But let me go a step further because I'm extra. I'm really, really extra. So extra. So I figured, let me just throw some lobster in here because I haven't made lobster macaroni and cheese in a minute in a long time. So okay. now I have all of the cheese mixed in this container. So this is, again, this is sharp cheddar, pepper jack, and marble jack. Sprinkle it on the top. But this is our filling. So again, mix it up. Make sure all the cheese and we still have one more thing that I'm going to make which is going to be last it's some rolls my kids love these rolls that I'm about to make and you can see the cheese just melting all the way through It's already melting, already forming on the noodles. I swear I love the big noodles with the ridges. I'm telling you, it just really yeah, it holds it just, everything. It just better. holds everything. Now for the top. How many um, bags of cheese did you use? Um, four. Mm -hmm. Use four bags. Mm -hmm. 